G'day, I'm Daniel and I'm a photography and print artist located in Sydney, Australia. I am currently completing my Bachelor in Photography and Situated Media, which I am undertaking at the University of Technology, Sydney. I have undertaken a wide range of photographic and print works throughout my various projects over these years, and these have included making walking maps of Sydney through famous landmarks, and also turning the lens back onto myself and doing self-portraiture. And this was a way of exploring representation of the body. In my current works, I'm focusing on my fascination of Japan and what is it that actually draws me to it. And I'm using the Japanese sport of kendo, which I have participated in previously, and also the color indigo, which these two things are tied together as a way of exploring that theme. The final output of this work is intended to be two large wall hangings and they'll be hand dyed cotton pieces which will be suspended from the ceiling. When beginning a personal project, I really just have a whole heap of ideas that I have floating around in my head and I'll pick one of those and just run with it. On the other hand, if I'm responding to a brief, then I find it's very helpful to head down to the library and I like to kick off the project there. I'll just wander down the aisles, no particular aim, and if a title happens to catch my eye, then I'll pull that book out and have a browse through it. Further to that, it's always a good way to start off the project for me is just speaking with friends and peers, and it was from such a question from one of my peers that why is the candle equipment blue? And that's then led into my whole research about the color indigo. When responding to problems or issues that may arise in any of the projects that I'm undertaking, I find that best for me anyway is initially just to do iteration after iteration after iteration until I hopefully get to success and a lot of that is just basing things upon past experience. What worked then? Will it work now? We can only find out by trying. Further to that, sometimes I find it's just really good to bounce ideas off friends as well because they always have a different perception on things. So that can be an avenue to explore after the iteration process if that doesn't work. And then my final uh, solution for these sorts of things is just put everything down and go for a walk, clear your head, clear your mind. Experimentation is not a conscious decision on my behalf. There's no point in a project where I think to myself, hey, Daniel, let's start experimenting. It's more, more just a case of knowing where the project needs to go and just giving it the width it needs to be able to grow creatively. This can be seen in my latest works where even though the initial concept was to do everything in the digital workspace, just through the process of iteration and experimentation, I would then change it. So it's now a blended mode of digital and also analog. And that also ties in well with my theme for my works of just tying the past and the present together. I work, I eat, I sleep, out of my small studio apartment here, situated above the university. Out of this small space, I am able to do so much. I can do my printing, I can do my photography work, and I can do my dyeing as well. So even though it's only a small area, it's entirely dedicated to my pursuit of photography. When I'm shooting smaller products, I'll just set up a corner and do my product shooting. For my larger works though, I am very lucky being situated at university that I just have to duck downstairs and I can use the studios. When I am doing my printing in my room, the uh, prints end up overtaking the whole unit as I have to use every available surface to lay down the prints while they dry. When I'm doing my dyeing, I do use my bathroom 
and I'm so paranoid about staining everything blue that I just covered the walls in plastic sheeting uh, to avoid that problem. For my larger pieces, on the other hand, I'm very lucky that a friend allows me to use her backyard and it's just such a lovely atmosphere to work in. So while I can do so much out of this small space, in the future it would be so good to be able to have a larger studio where I can have properly set up dedicated areas to do all of the things I love. Thank you.